Tom and I was taking a hedge trimmer and just cutting down these monstrous bushes right next to the house. But I was on a stepladder because they were so high. I stepped down. I had let go of the hedge trimmer, like in terms of let go of it running and stepped back and then just noticed my hand went near it. Even though it was already off, it was still moving and then screamed out because I had cut my finger and actually I was concerned at one point that I'd chopped the whole tip off. So at MUSC we see hand injuries from the entire east side of South Carolina, uh, not only Charleston but the surrounding area, and we see a lot of domestic injuries. Uh, what I mean by that is hedge trimmers, kitchen knives, any type of sharp object at home that you might cut yourself with. Oftentimes patients don't realize how bad the injury is from a, just a, a simple laceration, um, but there's a lot of things in the hand that can get cut quite easily. Kim had lacerated her finger through here where she went through the tendons and nerves to, to the tip of her finger, leaving her unable to flex her finger. And she couldn't feel the tip of her finger as well. Went, we had the surgery, uh, it went really great. As soon as I went in and had this like molded thing on my hand to keep it like a claw, I started physical therapy right then. And I saw like the team members were, the physical therapist was awesome, his name was Chris. And I think I went once or twice a week for a long period of time and just working on some small exercises to bend it. I think he would actually go in and bend it because the concern was we didn't want a lot of scar tissue to build up because that would inhibit the movability or the movement in the finger. Kim was a great patient. She was active in her recovery. So oftentimes when we talk to patients, we say surgery is only one third of the recovery from the injury. Two thirds is hand therapy and getting back to your occupation or daily activities. So after surgery, Kim was very active in working with Krista Luna, our hand therapist, uh, two or three times a week to get her motion back, to get her movement back, and to get her sensation back. Because I was just so happy to be back with hand, my hands in clay. There's just some feeling that you get from molding the earth. It's really grounding for me to take a piece of clay and mold it into something. And I believe that the act of all the parts that you do really mimic life. What I really love about it is it's constantly learning. If I were to ever again injure my hands, I would not hesitate to call Dr. Savannah and have surgery with him.